Well, we're back here at City Field again, and after that really difficult road trip, it's going to be uh, you got to believe time here for the Mets because you really got to believe if uh, you think something's going to happen here with this season. The Mets are uh, down under 600 now, seven and a half games behind the Dodgers, and look at who's in town. Mari Wills leads this off and takes the ball outside, one and one. Sid Fernandez on the mound, and that's hit over to right field. That will be out of play. Strawberry can't get there in time, one and one. A number of Mets players are uh, cold, and that's been part of the problem. There's a ball low to Wills. It's 2-1. and one. Hernandez, Carter, Knight, uh, all uh, looking cold, and this has popped up. Who wants it? It's uh, going to be uh, the first baseman, Hernandez, making the catch for the out. One away. Fernandez is also showing up as cold. One away, and here comes Willie Davis. Fernandez, for somebody who's cold, hasn't been pitching that cold. 5-3 and three is his record. 64 strikeouts, 25 walks, and a 3.09 ERA after that out. Willie Davis up there takes the ball low, 1-0. So Fernandez, and he gives up a fly ball to left field, and look, he's got that for the out, two away. Fernandez uh, showing that he's a little bit cold, but if this is what happens when you're cold, I don't want to see him when he's hot. Here now is Tommy Davis. And there's a little nubber foul, 0-1 oh, the count on Davis. All teams go into slumps, and this is hit over deep to the center field. Lenny's got that for the out, though, and we go to the bottom of the uh, first inning, uh, no score. And here comes Lenny Dykstra up against Johnny Padres. We beat this guy um, last time out. He's 7-3, and three, and there's a ball low to Dykstra, 1-0. Swing and a foul ball, 1-1. One one. I'll tell you, the hard thing with the Mets is the schedule. The 62 Mets played a lot of double headers. 2-1 uh, and one now the count, and it makes it rough if you only have 24 players. There's a strike, it's 2-2, two and two, and this is uh, lined right back to the mound. Padres catches that one, one away. Up comes Mookie Wilson. Wilson had a home run in uh, the yesterday's game in San Francisco and hits this one foul. Of course, we've had a couple of days off. This is now May 30th, and this is the first game of another doubleheader. Blasted to right, but this one will go foul. It's 0-2 now on Mookie. That's outside. 1-2 and two now the count. Outside again, 2-2. Two and two. 12,000 plus here, and it's raining at, uh, in New York City. Foul the way. It remains 2-2. Two and two. Fisted over to right field, and that is going to fall in there for a base hit. So the second leadoff man is able to get aboard. That will bring up Keith Hernandez, and now it's a question of do you run or not. You don't run the first time, and there is a good curveball over for a strike, 0-1. And, and there he goes, and here comes the throw, and Mookie has it stolen. So Wilson gets his 10th stolen base of the season. That means that Dykstra is 26, Wilson has 10. Hernandez now has a runner in scoring position. Fouls one away, and it remains 0-2. He's hitting 354, and he's cold. Remember, he was around 454 not long ago. 1-2 pitch is lined to left field for a base hit, and around comes Mookie. You know that we're going to have him try to score. Throw is late, and so Keith got it done. Hernandez with the big base hit, 35th RBI of the season. It's a 1-0 lead for the Mets, and up comes Daryl Strawberry. So when you believe, uh, then some good things will happen. The Mets finally score again as Strawberry fouls one away, 0-1, and, and there's a ball low, 1-1. One and one. Blasted to right, but that's going to go foul, I believe. Yes, foul ball. One and two. Little ground ball, third base. They throw it a second for one, and that's all they get. But Davis uh, played that one fairly well. He was a little bit late in getting the throw off, and uh, Strawberry, of course, is the fast runner. Two away, and here's Carter. Throw to first. Strawberry wasn't going that time, and there's a ball inside. One and zero to Gary. There's one outside. That's a good uh, pitch for the catcher to handle, but Strawberry gets in there first and has his fourth stolen base. 2-0 the count now on Gary. And there's a strike down the middle. 2-1. Outside, 3-1. Popped up. That's going to be foul, I believe. Will it be playable is the question. Nope, foul ball. Howard, no play on that. Full count. Swing and a miss, and down goes Gary. We will go to the top of the second. 1-0 Mets. Here is Frank Howard. Oh, it's blasted deep to center. Lenny, though, has a beat on that one. One away. Hard to hit a ball harder than that. That was a high fastball by Sid Fernandez. Here comes Duke Snyder, and he throws a ball low, 1-0. And there's a ball high, 2-0 the count. Mets were hot, and now they're cold. That's the way it goes, unfortunately. That's blasted foul left field line, 2-1 and one now to the Duke. So uh, you win some, you lose some, and there's a swing and a miss. It's 2-2. Two and, two. and that one's inside for a ball. Full count now on Snyder. And that one missed, and I want to see where that one missed. That looked like that was a, a strike. 
And that, no, that uh, fourth pitch, or that final pitch, I want to say, um, looks like it was a little bit up and just missed that corner. And, of course, you don't want Sid missing high. You want him missing low. And there's one that misses low. 1-0 and oh and out to Fairley. There's a fly ball over the left. Uh, it's going to be Mookie running after that one, and it's out of his uh, reach. 1-1. One one. Popped up. Carter might have a play on it. No, it's out of play. 1-2. That's high. Two and two is the count. Fouled away again. That just misses. Full count. Let's hit over left field. Mookie's got that easily. Two away. And here now Jim Gilliam. There's a strike to Gilliam. He's hitting 308, hitting well for a guy in the bottom of the order. One and one pitch. And that's hit over to left field. That'll be a base hit. Uh, Wilson tried to dive to catch that one, but um, it ended up uh, dropping in front of him. I think that was an attempt at a shoestring catch that failed. We'll bring up uh, Johnny Roseboro. So if you haven't seen the animations of OTP, now you've seen it. And sometimes they work well and sometimes they're predictable. This is hit to left field, and that's another base hit. Wilson fields it and throws home, but doesn't have enough of an arm, and that scores a run. And it's a 1-1 uh, ball game now after the run-scoring single by Johnny Roseboro. And the old brother, here we go again. Johnny Padres hits this one over to the right side, and that's a diving play by Tim Tuffle to take away what would have been a sure base hit. And so now we go to the bottom of the second inning. It's a 1-1 ball game. Here now, Ray Knight. That's hit over to right field in the gap. So Knight, who's been cold, ends up with a double here to lead off the bottom of the second inning. And this looks like the Mets of old. And the Knight, Knight um, winds up at second base, and that brings up Santana. Rafael hitting 217, takes the ball low. He has driven in 10. Mets are good at driving each other in. 2 0 now the count. Last to deep to right. Is that deep enough not to do much? And uh, Knight is able to tag up, goes to third base as uh, Howard makes that catch. Howard had no chance to get Knight. So with one away, there's a runner on at third here for Tim Tuffle. Ball outside, 1 0. That's fouled away. 1 1 now the count. Head over to right, and it's a diving play by Howard, and uh, he makes the catch, throws home to try to get uh, Knight, who tagged up. Knight easily able to score as Howard couldn't get up in time. That was shallow, but um, uh, Howard was so far out of it, his throw was not there on time, and now it's a 2-1 lead for the Mets. So the Mets manufacturing a, a run the way that they know how to do, and Sid Fernandez up there now takes the ball. Foul is one away. 1-1. One one. There's a ball low, 2-1 to count. Oh, again, three and one. We'll have uh, Sid take this. And that is ball four. So Fernandez coaxes the walk. Up now comes Lenny Dykstra. Hitting 362 is Dykstra. And he takes the ball away. I'm not seeing a lot of news about him maybe getting an all-star nod, but we'll see if he can do something to win those votes. Foul of the way, one and one. And this is popped up on the infield. Going to be the shortstop Wills grabbing that for the out, and we go to the top of the third. 2-1 now Mets. Here comes Mari Wills. And he takes the ball outside. 1-0. There is a strike to him. 1-1. Blasted over the center. On comes Dykstra. And he's got that for the out. One away. Willie Davis comes up here now. Takes the ball inside. 1-0. A little bit of a news uh, that um, a batting practice line drive shuck, struck him in the shin <coughs> earlier today. And he got a little bit of a sore shin out of it. Of course, it doesn't matter too much to us as we have all the in injuries turned off. And this is blast to the center, but Dykstra's there in time. Two away. Here comes Tommy Davis. That's a ball low to Tommy. 1-0. Swing and a miss. It's 1-1. Uh, one one. Swing and a miss on that. And uh, down with 1-2. and two. Told me that he struck out, and he didn't. 1-2. and two. Problems with his play-by-play. -play. That's high and inside. 2-2. Two and two. Foul the way again, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Ground ball to first base. Fernandez fields it, flips over to Fernandez, uh, is covering at the bag, and we go to the bottom of the third. 2 1 Mets. Here's Mookie. First pitch swing, hits a little ground ball to third, and it's uh, Davis who throws him out of first, one away. Up is Fernandez, who had that big hit, and he takes a strike, 0 and 1. 35 men driven in now by Keith. Blasts it to left. Foul. Well, that one really curved, 0 and 2 to count. It's a little quiet ground ball over to second base. Gilliam throws the first, and there's two away, and here comes Darrell. 
Ball low and inside. 1 0 the count on Strong. And that misses again. 2 0. 3 0 is that miss. And we'll have him take this one. And that's ball four outside. Padres trying to get him to swing at something inside. Daryl wouldn't take. And that brings up Gary. There's a strike over the plate, a changeup. Gary's had some problems. There's a curve low. 1 0 1. Blasted to left. And it's in there. They were playing him to the right. Round comes Strawberry. He's going to try to score. Carter gets the double. Throw comes into the plate. It's not even near in time. And Carter gets RBI number 25. And it's 3-1 to one Mets. He brings up Ray Knight. So you got to believe is right. And he hits one up the middle. The round's going to come Carter. And that is misplayed over in center field. I'm not quite sure what happened over there. Uh, and uh, that was a real, real poor play out there by uh, who was that in center? Willie Davis. Hard to get the Davises uh, uh, straight, so we had the Alus in San Francisco. Now we got Tommy Davis and Willie Davis here, but Willie Davis doing a poor job there. Booted that one for an error. It's four to one Mets here, at Santana. And he hits a little scooper back to Padres. He throws the first easily for the out, but the Mets get two, and we go to the top of the fourth. It's four one Mets. Here is Frank Howard. Takes the ball low and outside. Frank Howard so far this season, ten home runs, twenty nine men driven in. There is a strike. It's 1-1. One and, one. and there it goes. Dykstra, though, there for it, and he's got it for the out. One away. Here comes Snyder. Takes the ball. And a strike. 1-1. One and one. Ball inside. 2-1 and one now on the Duke. And that's low. It's 3-1. and one. And that's ball four. So two walks now for Fernandez. He hasn't struck anybody out. It's those acts of self-destruction, and up comes Ron Fairley, and he swings and misses at that curve, 0 and 1. Changeup is up and in, 1 and 1. Inside, 2 and 1. Fouled away, it's 2 and 2 now, Fairley. Just got a piece of that, 2 and 2 remains. Strike three. And there is a big strikeout, fastball, knee high, outside corner, 2 gone, and here comes Jim Gilliam. Hit deep to center, and uh, Lenny's going to grab that for the out, and he does. And we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Still 4-1 Mets. This brings up uh, Tim Tuffle as it does start to rain. That's low, 1-0. Low again, 2-0. 3-0, and uh, Tuffle will be waiting in the weeds for this. There's the strike. 3-1 to count. Hit over to center, a little bit shallow. Uh, Davis grabs that for the out, one away. Here comes uh, Fernandez. Fernandez walked last time up, and he takes the ball inside. And there's a strike, one and one. There's another strike of the knees. It's one and two. And that's hit foul down the left field line. Yep, foul. One and two. Fouled away again. Remains one and two. He swung a little bit too early on that one, and uh, that popped him up. Easy play for Fairley, two away, and here comes Dykstra, who's 0 for 2. It's a ball low. Let's hit over the left field. That's going to be very, very easy there for uh, Duke Snyder, who makes the catch, and uh, we'll go to the top of the fifth. Still 4-1 Mets. Foul ball by Roseboro. 0 and 1. And there's another strike, 0 and 2. That one just misses, one and two. Strike and there's the swing and a miss, down he goes. Second strikeout now for Sid, one away. Here's Johnny Padres. Pitcher takes the ball high, one and zero. Oh. And uh, that was another ball inside, two and zero. Oh. I thought he might have got around. And there is the fastball for a strike, two and one. And there's a the ball up and in, three and one the count. And has fouled away, so it's a full count now on Padres. And that misses high, and I've got to really ask a question about how that one missed. That looked like it was strike three to me, and I guess that was a little bit high, but it looks like it hit that corner. So with one out, up comes uh, Mari Wills again, and off we go to double play depth, and there's a ball low, 1-0. and oh. And another ball, 2-0 and oh the count. And there's another ball, 3-0, and oh, and Fernandez is losing it, and... Um, He's walked two men in a row now, and that brings up Willie Davis. And this is where we've had problems, and Sid has had this problem before, as you'll remember. There's a ground ball to Tuffle, and his only play second base throws to Santana. It looked like it was only at first, and so there's two away now for Tommy Davis. 
Puffle with kind of a uh, really risky play there, and Davis takes the ball inside, 1 0. Fastball is high, 2 0. And as low, it's 3 0. He's missing the corner, and there's ball 4. Now I've really got to wonder what's going on. 73 pitches, and um, I've got to uh, go over here to the mound and we'll talk with him. He's got plenty left in the tank, but you're going to get tanked by Frank Howard here. There's a ball low, 1 0. And as low, 2 0 the count. And this is a wild pitch. Carter blocks it and is able to prevent the runners from moving up, but it's 3-0. And, oh. and that's low again for ball four, and that's going to be it for Sid. We can't afford to let this guy stand up there and walk the whole park. Doug Sisk is going to come on in, and uh, we'll try for a little bit of long-term relief. So Fernandez doesn't have it. Walking guys left and right leg is going out of style. The problem with OTP is I can't go lecturing. A ball outside and then a foul ball, so it's 1-1. One now remember, Fernandez is the left-handed pitcher, so this will put out the righty, and this might uh, get them to use up some more players. This has popped up again, and uh, this is not playable. One and two now on Duke Snyder. That's outside. It's two and two. Let's hit over to center. That's going to be a base hit in front of Dykstra. Scores at least one. Here comes another one. And uh, that one is not even close, and so the Dodgers have tied it 4-4 with three runs here in the top of the fifth, and that will bring up Ron Fairley. There's a ball low to Ron, 1-0. And, oh. and another ball, 2-0 oh, the count. There's a strike, it's 2-1. and one. He Blasts it deep to left. That's going to be a gapper. No way that Wilson can get to it. He's trying to prevent it from getting from being too bad. One scores, and that's it. Good play by Wilson to prevent that from scoring two, but it's a double either way for Fairley. And uh, Doug Sisk is starting to give me gray hairs. There's a ball to Jim Gilliam. And a ground ball, and it's too tough, and that will score another one. It's now 6-4 to four Dodgers, and here comes 7-7, seven. Seven to four, and the Mets have given up six runs here in the top of the fifth inning. So it's gone from bad to worse, and there's a strike finally of Johnny Roseboro. Sid Fernandez is uh, turning into the goat of this one, 0-2 oh, the count. And there's a called strike three, but uh, where was that earlier? 7-4 to four now the score. And interestingly enough, for a team with great pitching, it's the pitching that's been falling apart for the Mets. Up comes Mookie Wilson here, bottom of the fifth inning. Now the Mets down 7-4. to four. There was a ball high, 1-0 to Wilson. And the frustrating thing about OTP is there's so little you can do about this. This is hit over to the gap in right center field. That's going to be down there for a head. Wilson has a double at least, and he's going for three. And he'll make it easily. He slides, no need to. Triple for Wilson, so at least he's doing his bit. I tell you, I play football manager, I know what to do when the players aren't playing well, but you play OTP and you just sort of shrug your shoulders. There's a strike to Keith, 0-1, and, and that's fouled away, so it's 0-2. The game told me Sid Fernandez was uh, cold, but uh, there's not much you can do. Someone's got to start. That's low, 1-2 on Keith, and that misses, 2-2. Two and, two. and that's up the middle for a base hit, so Hernandez gets a hit, another RBI today. That's number 36, and it's 7-5 now, Dodgers. You know, that designation of hot or cold, I think, is more descriptive than proscriptive. In other words, I think that's telling you how he's played lately instead of what he's going to do today. Here's Strawberry, takes the ball inside, 1-0. And, oh. and that's low, 2-0. and oh. Low again, 3-0, and, oh, and he'll take this. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. And that's called a strike. That's way low, but uh, we'll have to take it. And there's ball four, finally, to Darrell. So runners on at first and second now for the Mets, and here comes Gary Carter. Carter today is one for two. And he hits a little pop-up over the right. That's not what we wanted. Howard catches that for the out. There's one away. Here comes Ray Knight. Knight, Knight takes the ball, though. He's two for two today, having a good game. Blasts this one uh, foul, so it's a one on one count on him. And that misses again, two and one. Oh, ground ball over to second. They get one at uh, short, or at, uh, short rather. They get one at second, but that's it. Wills through to Gilliam, but uh, the slide broke it up, and so there's runners on at first and third now for Santana. There's a change of low, 1-0 and on Raphael. And it's popped up. And that's going to be playable. It's going to be fairly making the catch for the out, and so we go to the top of the sixth. 7-5 to five now, Dodgers, so we've started to come back, but uh, not quite yet. Here comes Johnny Padres, and there's a ball low. Sisk having his problems. This is hit over to right field, and that's going to fall in front of Strawberry for yet another base hit. Number six for the Dodgers, and that'll bring up Mari Wills. 
Base hits are always bad, but it's those walks that you worry about because uh, those are preventable. The ground ball to Tuffle goes back to Santana for one, but there's no throw at first, of course, with uh, Mari Wills coming down the line. And that brings up Willie Davis with one man out. And uh, we'll see what we can do here about Wills. Throw to first, and he wasn't going that time, and now he is. There's a throw back to first, and it's just, just safe. It's an 0-1 count here to Davis. And that's blasted foul. It's 0-2. And this is a little pop-up over to center. Lenny's got that one easily for the out two away. That'll bring up uh, Tommy Davis, and uh, we'll keep an eye there on uh, Mari Wills. Swing and a miss by Davis. It's 0-1. Uh, there he goes, and there's no play for Carter, and he's got that stolen. That's number 23. 0-2 count on Davis, and I tell you, with that being a strike, that gives Carter a pretty bad catcher rating. What is that thing that, where they will rate the catcher and, and how easy it was and all of that? I forget. 2-2 two two now the count, but I tell you, that wasn't a good rating for Carter. 2-2 two two pitch again, and this is hit over to right field. That's going to fall, but it'll be foul. 2-2 two two it remains. Ground ball now to first base, and Hernandez goes to the bag himself, and so the stolen base does nothing, and we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Here comes Tim Tuffle. Foul is one away, does Tim. It's 0-1. And that's up maybe into the hole. Tommy Davis with a good play on it, though, throws the first, and he's one out. And here comes Doug Sisk, and uh, out will come Doug Sisk. And once again, it's going to be George Foster, um, who is going to be the pinch hitter. Foster's done a whole lot of nothing so far this season, but uh, we're going to continue to use him as our favorite pinch hitter. Getting 214 as a pinch hitter, so he occasionally gets a hit, and he takes the ball low. It's this one little pop-up over to right field. Howard has it, and uh, there's two away. Up again is Lenny. 0 for 3. He's the one who's pulled. And the ball inside is 1-0. Outside, 2-0 to count. Foul the way. It's 2-1 uh, and one now in by school. And that's a little ground ball over to second, and uh, Gilliam throws the first. And that'll do it for that half inning. So uh, the Mets uh, will have to come up with another uh, relief pitcher. I think we are going to go lefty, righty, lefty, righty. So we put Randy Neiman in there. And we'll see what he can do for us. We go to the top of the seventh inning. It'll be Frank Howard to face him. The first pitch is popped up, and it's going to be out of play. 0-1 oh, to count. Little ground ball to second. Tuffle throws the first. There's one away. Duke Snyder up there now. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. This is hit over the left side, but it's going to be foul. 0 and 2 the count. Fouled away. Still 0 and 2. Boy, that slider just misses inside. It's 1 and 2. Way outside. 2 and 2. Neiman a little bit wild. That's fouled away again. Still 2 and 2. Low. Full count on Duke. That was close. It is popped up, and it uh, is going to be Santana making the catch for the out. Two away, and here comes Ron Fairley. And ball misses inside. 1-0. and oh. oh, Ground ball down the third base line, and Knight can't get to it. That's going to be a double for Fairley. This is one of my least favorite animations because it's supposed to be a close play at second, but it's a close play because the left fielder doesn't do anything with the ball. Here comes Gilliam, who takes a ball. 1-0. and oh. And there's a strike. One and one is the count. Fouled away. It's one and two. And it's hit down the left field line, but again, foul. And he's fouled the other way and out of play. This one will be fair down the left field line. Wilson can't get there in time. Throw to home, though, ends up being the runner. Fairly thrown out at home, and that's going to be it for the Dodgers. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Still a 7-5 to five ball game, and it's a winnable ball game for us. Here comes uh, Mookie Wilson. Two for three today at a triple. Takes the ball low. He's been hitting the cover off the ball. Two and oh, that misses. He has a stolen base as well. He's blasted the left field, but Duke Snyder there for the uh, out went away. Here comes Hernandez, who's two for three. Not playing all that bad, and he takes a strike. It's outside for ball one and one on Keith. And that's a little comeback or back to Padres who throws the first. There's two away, and here comes Daryl Strawberry. 
as a hit on a uh, two hopper over to Jim Gilliam at uh, second who throws the first. And we go to the top of the eighth inning. Here's Johnny Roseboro. There's a the ball low, 1 0. And a little ground ball back to first base. Hernandez grabs that, goes to the bag, one away. Here comes Johnny Padres, and he takes a strike, 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, 0 and 2. He was way behind on that one. Up the middle, second baseman Tuffle has that, throws the first, and there's two away. Up now is Mari Wills. The rain has stopped. We'll see if that helps us. And there's a ground ball again to Tuffle, who throws the first, and that does it. And we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. And so the uh, chants start going up in, in City Field. Carter, though, first pitch swing, does nothing but hits a lazy fly ball over to Willie Davis in center for the first out. Here comes Ray Nye. That's down by two. There's a ball low, 1-0 and to Ray. That's hit up the middle for a base hit. So Knight has been kind of quietly collecting base hits in this game. Uh, he is now 3 for 4, and that will bring up Santana. Tuffle comes up after him, and the question is, uh, which poison do you want more? I think we'll swing away with Santana. There's a strike. Boy, that's a crazy play. And there's a ball. That was in the same place, 1-1 one one the count. And there's another strike call. That was a good pitch, 1-2. And it's a double play ball. It goes to the first baseman. There's the uh, return throw to first, and they don't get him. So it went three to six, but uh, no three on the end. Uh, two outs now, and here comes Tim Tuffle. Swing and a miss. It's on one. It's hit over to center field, and a lazy pop up, and it'll be there for Willie Davis, and we go to the top of the ninth. Seven to five still Dodgers, and then um, here comes Davis. Neiman's still out there. He's leading off the next inning. Ground ball to Tuffle, who throws the first, one away. Now, here's the other Davis, Tommy, up there. The ball outside, 1-0 to Tommy Davis. And there's a splitter inside, 2-0. It's hit over to right field, and that's going to occur foul. 2-1 to count. There's a strike, it's 2-2. Two and two. Strike three. Swing and a miss, and down he goes, 2 away. That brings up Frank Howard. Randy Neiman, one strikeout now in two and two thirds, and there's a ball inside, one and zero. He's kept the Dodger bats in line, you can say that, but uh, he's given up another base hit here as Howard uh, pops that one up in the center field. That'll bring up Duke Snyder. This uh, Dodger team is a good lineup. There's a strike to Duke and a swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. That one misses low, one and two to count. Two and two, misses again. Low again, full count. And there's ball four inside, and you got to start wondering if Randy isn't uh, sort of tiring up. Here comes Ron Fairley, who takes the ball low and in. And there's another ball inside, 2-0. and 3-0 oh. and oh, as that misses in the dirt, and there's ball four again. So uh, we've seen eight straight balls by Neiman, and that's going to be it for him. Uh, it's going to be McDowell, I think, that we're going to put in. Let's take a look here and just see. Williams is a uh, switch hitter, so it doesn't really matter one way or another. Uh, so McDowell will come into this ball game. Top of the ninth inning, we're down seven to five, and here comes uh, Jim Gilliam, who takes a strike, 0 and one. And this is away, one and one. There's another strike, is one and two. Low, two and two. There's a ground ball to first. Hernandez fields it and goes to the back himself, and so we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. 7-5 to five Dodgers, and here is McDowell's place. Of course, we're not going to let him hit for himself. We'll take him out, and the question is, who do we go for? And it's probably going to be Wally or um, uh, Howard Johnson who we're going to put up there. I'm thinking, could do Heap, the lefty, but I think we're going to put Johnson in here and see what he can do. Johnson um, has been hitting uh, <clears throat> 179. Uh, does have a home run. We know he has some power, and he fouls one away. Oh, and one to come. And that's a change of high one and one. Outside two and one. Fouled away. Now it's two and two. And let's head over to the uh, left side. The third baseman Tommy Davis feels it throws the first one away. Here now Lenny Dykstra is zero for four. There's a ball low one and zero. Blasted over the left, but uh, that and that is going to be a base hit. So Dykstra finally gets a hit. That'll bring up Mookie Wilson. Wilson representing the potential tying run. Lenny on at first. Throw to first, nothing happening. 
And there's a strike, 0-1. There's a ball, 1-1. Padres trying for the complete game. He's walked three, struck out one. Fouled away by Mookie, 1-2. And and that's hit over the right field, and that's going to be playable there for Howard. Dykstra has to hold it first, and there's two away. And that brings up Keith Hernandez. He's two for four. He's driven in two. Takes the ball high, 1-1. There's a strike, 1-1 one and one in Keith. Fouled away, it's 1-2, and two, so one strike away. Fouled away again. Inside, 2-3. Two and, two. and that's inside again. It's a full count now in Keith. Fouled away. Up the middle, and a diving play there by Jim Gilliam. He makes the catch, and that does it. And so the Mets lose this one. It's kind of a heartbreaker. Sid Fernandez, who um, up to this point kind of has been the ace of the staff, ends up with a very poor outing, walks uh, basically the entire Dodger uh, lineup. And uh, because of his walk, we ended up losing a game we should have won 7-5. to five. So if this were a football manager, I'd have a team meeting afterwards, but um, you can't quite do that in OTP. As I've said, one of the big problems with the game is you can't do stuff like that. Final score again, 7-5 to five Dodgers, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the second game of this doubleheader. Talk to you then. Bye.